women have more money and more independence as a result of that money and success and education, why don't they just date down? As in, why don't they date men that are broke? Right. Yeah. Well, you know, we have inherited this mating psychology from our distant ancestors who were very much more reliant on men for things like provisioning, resource access, and even protection than what contemporary women need. And this is because throughout most of our evolutionary history, um, we spent our lives, you know, having to be pregnant regularly, lactating, caring for young children, um, and were very heavily dependent on the ability um, of our partner to gain access to things like food and the other resources that we're not able to get access to when we are, you know, very pregnant or dealing with young children. Like, I don't know if you've ever gone hunting before or met a two-year-old, but like the two things don't mix, right? The children are loud. They're not going to allow you to sneak up on a buffalo. Um, It's not an ideal situation for women. So women historically have been very dependent on men for resources. And we've inherited that, that brain because over the course of evolutionary history, women who would have placed an emphasis on, uh, you know, choosing partners who have these kinds of qualities, they would have been more likely to have surviving offspring who then pass that tendency or that preference onto their offspring who'd pass that preference down to their offspring. And so human, you know, contemporary human women, even though we're able to gain access to resources of our own, we still have that preference, right? We've inherited that preference from our successful ancestors because women who had that preference would have performed better than women who didn't pay attention to that sort of thing. 